And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Minecraft. All right, well, we are all set up, ready to go uh, for our resources. This whole system is operational, and it's all hooked up. And, uh, yeah, our resources are now basically being auto-managed. And this thing, I turned the, uh, the Void Miner back on, and it's slowly building all of these back up again, which is good because we're going to jump into another project here. Uh, something that's going to take us a couple couple episodes to get through. But uh, with that uh, dragon syringe that I have, uh, I want to use that. I want to use this to create a dimension for RF tools that use dragons. And rather than process all of these dimlet parcels, and uh, flood my AE system with it. Uh, I'm going to use this as a good time to branch off and show a little bit of refined storage. This is sort of an alternative to applied energistics that you can run in your world uh, if you want a simplified version of uh, what applied energistics can do. There are pros and cons to each system. And it is basically up to you on what you like better. And I thought I would uh, cover both of them because we have not only refined storage, but reborn storage, which is an uh, add-on to that, which adds, you know, bigger, bigger drives and uh, bigger crafting, auto-crafting systems. Uh, but anyway, I want to cover both things. And uh, Flower is still busy. <laughs> Uh, decorating her place. I don't want to give anything away. Uh, so she is hard at work doing that. Um, so yeah. Anyway. Where do we want to put this? Well, first, we got to figure out how are we going to merge these two systems together? Because when you jump into refined storage, there's a lot of crafting that takes place that cannot be done uh, in an AE system because it uses the solderer and if I could find it in the list there it is solder right here this solder has a lot of different uses for speed upgrades you know lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of uses so there the whole mod is basically centered around using the solderer uh, to you know, make the different components in the in the mod. So, how are we going to merge these two together? That is a very very good question. Um, hmm. I was thinking of basically building a second system specifically for uh, ref uh, refined storage because I want to I want a refined storage system and that's where I want to store all of the dimlet parcels and pieces because it's a little you know there's there's only so many parcels and pieces and you just get a lot of them so I think it's a good I mean yes I could use AE I could absolutely use AE but then I would miss the opportunity to actually show the refined storage stuff. Um, and I really want to let people gear up uh, to use it if they, if they want. So one of the base items in, the, in this mod is the quartz enriched iron, which is three iron ingots with a nether quartz. Gives you four quartz enriched iron. And I have already set up an autocraft for it. So we are ready and raring to go for that. Now, alternatively, if I want, let's say we're going to set it up over here somewhere. I think right over here, right? So let's just say right in here somewhere, we're going to, we're going to have this set up. And this is one of the main reasons why I have my floor elevated uh, above the ground because I can easily, very easily, 
uh, add stuff underneath the floor and uh, you know make sure it works right so we let's see we got a entangle porter right over there maybe it would be better to do it maybe like right here I think that might be a better way to go because we have an entangle porter that we can borrow power from right here so first things first we want uh, let's get uh, some of this quartz enriched iron just to start us off and uh, we're gonna want a controller and we're gonna want some machine casings so let's get a controller set up and this is you know kind of the heart of the whole system so I'm gonna put the controller back here a little ways and you know if you don't have auto crafting set up yet then uh, you, know, you can mess around with this stuff in early game it's it's very doable in early game you just need a lot of iron and a lot of quartz uh, let's get a couple more stacks of that going all right now we've got a little bit of cable we want a disk drive for that we're going to need a processor well guess what we don't have we don't have a solder so let's look at some pistons uh, yeah we're going to need some sticky pistons and let's get some solders going. I want a few of these. Well, a few solders is good. Because we don't do anything half-baked here. Okay, once we have some solder and some cables, we can uh, hook this up. Let's get some flux duct. Uh, resonant is fine. It doesn't really take that much, but uh, it looks kind of cool. Uh, the animation on that looks kind of cool. All right. So cable-wise, we're just going to go up like this. So we're, I'm doing this up here because, you know, why not? Why not do this up here? We've got lots of space on the main floor here. Might as well use it for something. Uh, okay, so all of the solderers, and I want to make sure we have another hole in the floor so I can jump down. Let's plug this one up. Okay, solder time. Um, what's what's like kind of build these how I built the last set and this one can go off here okay so these I want we need to get them power so that can be power uh, and there, there's a big there's another big difference in this the you know all the the sub placement you know how the there's multiple types of things in the same block face yeah you can't do that uh, with uh, refined storage you have importer exporter constructor destructure you know all of these things sort of merged into this whole system you know what? I'm I'm having second thoughts here. I don't want these. I think we'll be able to be just fine with this right there. Cause we need a bunch of crafters. That's what we need. Not a crafting grid, not a fluid grid. Where be the crafters? There it is, crafter. For this, we're going to need processors and cores. So, yeah, it's kind of like where do you start with this? And you just, you just, whoop, you just got to get a solder down and start working on it because 
you gotta you gotta get this going and there's only one way to do that let's get some first some like gold I'm gonna get half a stack of gold half a stack of iron and half a stack of diamonds same sort of recipes very similar so gold is your lowest tier processor print printed basic processor or iron is your basic gold is your improved and uh, diamonds are your advanced so we're going to put uh, the gold in there gold in there and diamonds in there i thought and diamonds were your best friend diamonds are <laughs> So the since this is hooked up with a cable, it spreads the power throughout all these. All blocks are capable of spreading power and goodies. So we're also going to want a stack and a half of silicone. And each one of these can go in here. So there's no... There's no like presses that you have to go out in the world and find. There's none of that. You just need to, you know, pop the silicone in there and it prints it up. You just need to pop the, the material in there and it prints the processor. And then again, the same sort of thing with AE is you merge the processor with the printed silicone and redstone and you get them right in here. So we need uh, some redstone I need a stack and a half of redstone. So as these get done, there's 16 basics. Uh, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of those, eight of those, 12 of these. I was just gonna grab all of them. There's 16. Okay, so up here, we're gonna do these, these, and these. And this is gonna print the advanced processor. These, 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 and then these, these, and these. And it just automatically puts them in the right slot. Solder is pretty smart in uh, what you're, it's, it's okay smart in what your intention is. So there are some basic processors now, there are some improved processors and some advanced processors. So what can we do with these? Well, we need to then make uh, the cores, the construction core, which is a basic processor in glowstone. And then the destruction core is the basic processor and nether quartz. So yeah, very, very simple very simplified recipes where you need glowstone and you need nether quartz. So we want a couple of those. Really glowstone dust I'm almost out of. Let's get a thousand more of that, please. So I want, no, why is that? There we go, 32 of that. And then nether quartz was the other one. So those, those are all using basic processors. And so as these all get done, I can pop them in here. I'm not sure who needs what. It'll all, it'll all sort out in the end. I'm sure that I need I need to match how much redstone is in here. So obviously there is a discrepancy with how much redstone is in there. There's I should have one, two, three, four. Should match that up. And I need two in here. Two in there. There we go. Now we're all matched up. So you can take a couple basic processors and basically just like convert a couple of those into construction cores and then destruction cores and uh, yeah from there 
Let's grab some finished processors. And any any crafting table anywhere, you can craft the disk drive, which uses that advanced processor, another machine casing, and a chest, which is funny that I didn't have any in there, but there's a disk drive. Now, we want to store stuff on the drive. Very much the same as AE. It has room for eight drives, and each drive, again, is, you know, kind of goes up in size 1K, 4K, 16, 64, and there's also a fluid 64 fluid, 128, 256, 512. And then reborn storage adds more levels. So storage 256, 1024, 4096, 16384. Now, here is the biggest difference between these two mods. The absolute biggest difference. In AE, in Applied Energistics, a drive, a 64K drive, can only hold 63 different types of items. Regardless of the size of the drive, can only hold 63 types. And if you format one of those drives, like I have done uh, over here, if you format one of these drives, to only hold a small number of items in you know a small number of types it can hold exponentially more of those types than it normally would if it was full of full of types so in the end you can get a lot of storage out of a pretty small drive if you are just storing like one type of item in refined storage a 1K storage part can hold 1,000 things, regardless of how many types there are. It can hold 1,000 different types of things or 1,000 of one type of thing. It doesn't matter. It doesn't care. It just stores whatever. It's basically one-to-one. -one. So a 64K storage part can hold 64,000 items, regardless of what those items are. Those are the by far the biggest differences between these mods. And uh, depending on your needs, you may like that and you may not. It's you know totally, totally up to you whether or not that is something you wanna you wanna go for. Now, for me, uh, I'm. I, I lean more towards AE. I've used AE a lot, and I'm very comfortable with how it works. And uh, refined storage, while it has its perks and its pluses, uh, I find a little, a little quirky sometimes. As far as uh, automation goes, uh, these mods are substantially different in how things are automated. And uh, we'll get into that uh, as we venture into this mod. First, I need at least like something for storage in this mod. So we are going to pop in with a 1K storage part. Let's look at that. Doesn't use any drives at, or uh, any processors at all. So I might be able to jump into 4K storage. So one, two, three. Yeah, let's uh let's do one, two, three, and then four K storage. One of these. You need to hit use. There's a four K storage. So watch as I put this in, it's gonna show me four K storage. It's exactly how much storage this has. It's exactly how much it holds. And uh, you can hold t uh, items. Uh, you can uh, even, uh, you know, filter the drives themselves. And 
there are lots of options that you can do here. Um, avoid excess items and fluids. Wow. Yeah, there's 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 some there's some you know peace of mind things that you can do. Uh, you can you can store fluids. You can fluids are very very integrated with refined storage. Whereas you need you need a mod in order to get them to work with applied energistics. But we now have some storage in here. The problem is we don't have any way of peeking inside the system at all. So let's build ourselves a crafting grid, which lo and behold uses the solderer to craft this. Uh, so the grid itself, oh, what are we missing? Machine frame? Yes, machine casing. So grid, then crafting grid is advanced processor and a table. Crafting table, advanced processor. Go over to this solder over here. And it just knows what I'm what I intend to put in there. It's pretty it's pretty smart that way. It is definitely smart that way. And it is slow right now, but we'll we'll work on speeding up this process quite a bit. And there we go. Crafting grid. Now we can take a cable. Actually, you don't want to do a cable because you can just kind of put it right on top there and it you know, every block basically can transmit power and data. So not a, not an issue. There's the crafting grid. I'm going to put the cores in there. So we've got all of those things now. Now I'm going to want a pattern grid, which uses a pattern. Uh, so let's do pattern grid. I want one of those. And I'm going to need another grid. So that this is where having uh, multiple of these I want just one of these how do I get just one of them you have middle. to get all of them middle click <laughs> but unfortunately the middle click also resets my filter my sorting <laughs> and my Ooh, that's <clears throat> bad. okay so pattern grid Pattern, advanced processor, and grid. And I need a grid. Ooh, I'm gonna need the cores. So these and these. Grid. What am I missing? Another improved processor. So put that in there. There's my grid, thank goodness. And I've got my pattern. What is it I need for this advanced processor? So there's my advanced processor. Let's go over here. Doesn't matter where, but I'm gonna go over here. Like I said, this whole mod is based around this solder. So, you know, if you can build a whole bunch of these and you can, you know, do parallel crafts fairly easily so make sure these are all empty and this thing is getting done and as a result we can just slap this right next door and now we can do patterns and yeah these the the UI is a little bit off like there's no, like, it's, 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 it's a little bit off. So these squares should be right here. So unfortunately, yeah, the, uh, the grid is a little off. A little bit off. Um, so somebody needs to update the texture pack. I am not one to do that, but that will get you started. Now, 
bridging these two mods, bridging my system with all the resources that it has, and this system with all the resources it wants, um, I'm thinking about basically just creating a, a, a system of chests down here where we I fill up a bunch of chests with like iron and gold and diamonds and and then have on this side of things have storage interfaces which is basically you know all that I need to do that um, I'm somebody told me that there's a way to get the A system uh, using the energy acceptor I kind of want to try that on camera so there's an energy acceptor, um, which will see the whole network. Now, that's a reader, writer, external storage. This is what I want right here. Um, construction core, destruction core, and improved processor. Uh, I need one of you and one of you. And then a couple of you. So external storage, like so. I need more chests. Yes. So the external storage is just like the storage bus uh, in AE. So if we, this is just a test. If I get some Fluix cable, bring and then just temporary, and then put an energy acceptor on that. Somebody told me that this was possible. No, not right there. And then connect this like that. Now, does that work? Indeed, it does not. I didn't think it would, because there, there's nothing in that energy acceptor that extract only. Yeah, there's no way to talk to these two systems together. So I'm going to set up a little bit of a system down below with chests of materials basically just a line and I'm gonna use some iron chests believe it or not I want some iron chests lots of them because there's a finite number of ingredients that this mod needs. And, you know, it's basically the quartz enriched iron, it's quartz, it's diamonds, it's gold, it's iron. All of these things, glowstone dust, silicon, um, all of these things we have in massive abundance. So I'm not too concerned with uh, wasting any. And the reason I'm using iron chests is you can put them right next to one another and not not uh, run into problems. Cotton so, candy actually uses cotton. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, all right. Well, I guess we'll have to auto craft that too. <laughs> Weird. Now, I don't know how many iron chests I'm going to need, but, you know, 14 is a good start. Um, and so each one of these is going to be a separate item. So, like, iron will be one. Uh, let's, can I go up, empty out my inventory a little bit, because this is a little crazy. I'm going to need a whole bunch more of those external storages. And let's put this away. I just want to kind of clear out some space here. <clears throat> so iron is one. 
and this is basically a full full thing of iron. I want quartz enriched iron as well. And let's see. Uh, I want to try to keep track of all the ones that I do because this could get confusing. So I'm obviously going to need glowstone dust and nether quartz. Glowstone dust, nether quartz. I'm going to need diamonds. I'm going to need glass. I'm going to need um, diamonds, glass, silicon. I don't know how I've got 76,000 silicon. I shouldn't. But it is what it is. Diamonds, glass, silicon. Okay. So the other thing I'm going to want is a crafting card. And let's get some acceleration cards. Because uh, I want a crafting card and an acceleration card in each one of these. Uh, crafting card, two acceleration cards. Crafting, two. Some of these are a little bit more involved. Crafting, uh, we don't really craft nether quartz, so that's not an issue. Nor do we craft diamonds, or glass, or silicon. Uh, and this one is empty. So up to there, so yeah, right up to there is all we've got left. Okay, so we're going to link this up. And it's going to start pumping out the material. And it's going to fill these chests with the material as it's crafting it. So it's going to it's going to fill up everything that we need. And it's also, while it's using it, it's going to be pulling more into the system as we use it. So that's why I wanted to get this system down here set up first because we could easily pop one of these and Im start importing material. And I wanted to sort of do it slowly. Um, so we should have pulled out, yeah, a little bit, uh, a little bit of, uh, of glass. I don't know how we got so much silicone in here, but yeah, we have 73,000 silicone, and we shouldn't. We really, really, really shouldn't. But it is what it is. I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, okay. Now it's time for those external buses on this side of things. So this is going to be extract only. All of these are going to be extract only. And it's going to be able to pull iron, gold, you know, all of the things that we need. It's going to be able to pull them out and use them as needed. And it's a lot of stuff, sure, but, you know, it's going to help us in the long run be able to auto-craft some stuff. All right, well, that'll do it for this episode. Please hit that like button if you are enjoying the series so far. And uh, subscribe if you have not done so yet and uh, hit the bell to let everybody uh, let you know when I'm live or a new video goes live and uh, that'll do it so uh, that will do it for the episode and I thank you for watching and I will see you next time <laughs>